It is the wonderful Rebel Wilson. Here she is. Makes me proud every time hey. I hear her name. Rebel. Aww, just a legend. Thanks. Absolute legend. You guys are legends. I miss you. Appreciate that because uh, I'm, you're, you're back in America. I'm waiting for the quarantine. Uh, yeah, I know. I'm waiting for the quarantine laws to change. And then I'll oh, come yeah. back. <laughs> just... I don't know if I can do it the two weeks. Now, Jeez look, we, we, Rebel, we have to talk about 2020 for you and your transformation physically. Uh, are you loving yourself sick? <laughs> oh, yeah. You can tell that I post like a lot of photos of myself on Instagram. I'm like, oh, yeah. <laughs> Loving myself. Um, that one with the other one. I don't in know the... I should calm down a bit. No, no, no. 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 Everyone's oh, no. loving it. The, the, the one in the red where yes. you're boxing, the red room boxing one. Ooh, yeah. That was unbelievable. That was such a great. Oh, yeah. That was great. That's, that's for a big commercial about to come out in America. Whoa. Next month. So, yeah. Just, hey. um, yeah. But that was when the um, Capitol riots were going on. Oh. Um, but I didn't have a TV cause I had to like watch, um, film the commercials. So, oh. Oh, don't tell um, me there was but an someone outrage. just ran in. Yeah. Someone ran mm. in and said, Oh, there's a civil war going on. And I was like, oh. <laughs> yeah. You're not across <laughs> it. <laughs> no, I wasn't. Across <laughs> what's the, can I ask what's, hang on. What's, what's the ad for? She's can I ask, say it's a secret. She might say what the ad's for. Um, oh, it's for these, um, oh my God. So I hate swallowing vitamins. So these are like these gummy vitamins that I was taking all last there year. There you go. Beautiful. Um, gummy, they're really good. yummy. They're kind of like taking uh, lollies, uh, but they're called Ollie. Um, you get them at Whole Foods here in America. And, um, yeah, so thanks for that. Some Ollie's, exclusive. Some lolly vitamins. Yeah. What yeah. more do you want in your life? Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's you're, usually you're trying to, that's usually trying <laughs> to get on board, stuff. Rebel, by the way. Oh, that's usually me. trying to get on board. Yeah, because oh, yeah. I, cause I know that Whole Foods. I've got to send you some. Yeah, and Whole Foods is owned some by Amazon. Some of the Amazon. sleep ones they have. <laughs> Yeah, I love Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> ka -ching. Hey, I'd love to know, we, we've all yeah. seen you physically change from the outside. Mm -hmm. How has it changed you on the inside? Like the kind of person you are, your confidence, like how has it changed you as a person? Oh, like it's interesting, Erin, because I don't know. I always, I like to think like I looked good at all sizes and stuff. You did. Um, you did. I was always, you always quite look confident. Good. You are. You were. So it wasn't like I wasn't confident no. and then now I'm like super confident and whatever. I think it's just what's been really interesting to me is how people, other people treat you. Um like, I don't know, sometimes being bigger, people didn't necessarily look twice at you or whatever. And then now that I'm in good shape, like people offer to carry my groceries to the car and wow. hold doors open for you. And I was like, is this is what other people experienced all the time. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, yeah, that's. That to me has been, been really interesting. Also, I find it interesting that people um, pay so much attention to like a, a weight loss transformation when there's so much, um, you know, going on in the world. But people are always fascinated by weight loss transformations. Everyone, tell you what else, yeah, 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 tell you what else they're fascinated yeah. by, Rebel. And this is taken, our producers are clawing at the, at the walls for me to ask you. The, the romance, okay. your romance, your international, you've got the most swashbuckling international <laughs> romance in the known universe. It is just non-stop photos of unbelievable locations. Yeah, I don't know how that, that happened in a global pandemic. But, um, <laughs> we needed something to love. We needed some love. That's what we needed. I know. I've been very uh, um, unlucky in love for most of my life. So, it's um, yeah, no, it's good. I, but part of being, I guess, a movie star, you get to you get offered all these free, amazing trips. And I'm like very bogan in that. I love a free thing, anything for free. Really. <laughs> so like, if someone says, "Oh, do you want to come on the private jet and like with Helen Mirren and Kate Beckinsale, and and you can bring your boyfriend and every everything's covered, everything's paid for." And then they and like and they really mean everything. And <laughs> then when we got there, the billionaire guys like, you know, you can you can put anything on the room, like anything. Yeah. So I went down to the gym, and then they had like these sneakers that were six hundred dollars, and I was like, um, just put it on the room. Then, <laughs> and then, and I know it's terrible, but like they said, it do and you know put anything on like. Yeah, I'm um, a, yeah. And, and I'm just, I'm such a freeloader. I'm like, oh, okay. 
<laughs> but let's not forget where you're from, Rip. So you yeah. and I have known each other a long time. Humble so where, beginnings. Yeah, where, which, which place? Which suburb, I've yes. forgotten, which suburb of Sydney did you grow up in? Um, yeah, mainly in the Hills district. You're in the Hills. But you um, and I did youth theatre together in, yeah. you know, in the early 2000s. And was... you, you weren't, neither of you were trust fund babies, were you? No, not no. at all. And so... Rebel was a hustler. Oh, you no. wrote the, Rebel would wrote, yeah. write, wrote all the own, her own shows. She would pay to have it. Yeah, you know, and Ed was in, in one of my plays in 2003. That's How'd right. that one go, um, like publicly? Oh, well... Erin, sometimes in the audience, there was like 10 of us in the play, and sometimes in the audience, there was less than 10. The <laughs> oh, less um, people. Why you don't want me over in there? less audience than, than, than people in the cast, <laughs> who, then you don't have to put on the show. Yeah. <laughs> who would have known? That only happened like three percent. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes there was. Show must go on, I say. Yeah, well, now look in front at of no one. Now look at her. Yeah, look at her. Does uh, uh, Rebel, obviously humble beginnings. Can you answer the question for everyone? Does money make you happy, Rebel? I mean, it makes you feel very secure, but I will say, um, particularly in the last couple of years, I got to meet these like very, very, very wealthy people and they're all really messed up. So <laughs> what I was saying is I'm kind of proud of my like kind of coming from the bush and like, um, mm, like afraid. my Western Sydney roots because like, I really appreciate all the finer things now. And like, I always get excited. Like whenever they said when I was in Monaco and they're like, do you want to go on the jet ski? Every time I'm like, yes. <laughs> For me, it's so exciting. And, and you. Someone and who always values a jet ski. Yacht. Yeah, I yeah. love that. that, is, that is great. Like, I love it. Um, but I don't know. It do, it just gives you a bit of, you know, security. But I'm, I'm, I'm actually, I used to, when I was a kid, I'd, have these fantasies like, oh, I wish I'd just find like ten thousand dollars in a bag and I'd be rich <laughs> on the ground or something. And then, you know, like some somebody's rubbed a bank and is left on the ground, and then I find it and get to keep it. That would be my fantasy. But now I'm um, I'm I'm really glad that I grew up very very normal because because I can appreciate it. And those rich people, they they have a lot of issues. So. Yeah. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Just on Jacob, and your boyfriend's name is Jacob. He's 29. So my partner's yeah. like nearly 10 years older than me, right? And I, I've done this calculatedly. I don't think that's a word. So that he never oh, has yeah. to upgrade. So I'll always be the younger, hot one. <laughs> is, how do you, oh, okay. how, yeah, yeah. What, what are your thoughts on that? With Because he's, how old are you, Rebel? I'm 40. I do, yeah, I turned 40 last year. And so what's, so. what's the, like, how did you meet him? How'd you get together? Like, what's the, uh, the love story? Jacob's 31, so I don't know whether oh, exactly. Okay. Well, that's a but research he'll issue. Take yeah. He's in his dirty <laughs> 30. He'll take it. <laughs> yeah, so nine years And he's gorgeous looking. Oh, oh yeah. He's, he used to do a bit of male modeling. Oh, <laughs> but you get, just look, a, a bit. Hobby. Just you get bit. over looks. It's got to be what's inside, <laughs> you know. Absolutely. It's, it's, yeah, the looks wear yeah, off. Has yeah. his looks worn but, off yet or not, Rebel? Is it still... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know. With, with the age difference, I mean, women outlive men. Anyway. Yeah, That's there a very you go. Good. So I think <laughs> I've got a nine-year head start. Like, <laughs> really, I don't know. That'd be about right. <laughs> still get some time to enjoy it. his millions. <laughs> 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 yeah. All right, Rebel Wilson, thank you, you very much indeed for your time. Uh, no worries. Thanks, guys.